guys, what is going on? So, something super exciting has come up with the E30. So, I don't know if you saw the video, welding the diff. That's my little project car I've got going. So, I did something hype. So, you can see here, this is the stock ECU from the car. And she's not in there anymore. So, I'll fucking take you guys along and show you what's up. Right, guys, so here's what I want to show you. First thing, sneak peek here. So, you can see, there's no uh, stock air fuel meter. There's a little, little bit of some jank wiring for now until I get some stuff fabbed up to properly have an intake tube and properly have an intake temp sensor there and a block off for the metal air control valve but otherwise I uh, got a map sensor here got intake air temp uh, got a little T right there that right there and uh, buddy guys just drifting outside in this fucking GMC Jesus let's go get this on fucking film real quick where's this guy where's this guy where is this guy? Oh, look at this big guy right here. Oh, wow. Big guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. You know, fuck. Oh, wow. He actually stopped. What do you know? <laughs> Sick. Anyways. Map sensor, intake air temp. So I don't know if you guys know what I would need all this for, but oh yeah, also uh, spark controller right here, and going to the stock coil, then some wiring going inside and stuff. Um, I'll show you guys here. Just one sec, let me get around to it. Instead of aftermarket ECU, oh yeah, I got the laptop sitting out too. Or sorry, instead of a factory ECU, I should say, I got a. Got a little aftermarket ECU here. So this right here is a micro squirt. I need to mount it. I'm gonna mount it up here somewhere, I think, like up top. Put a tuning port for it going to the laptop. Uh, I just got a custom array of switches. They're not actually that useful. These two are wipers, um, washer pump, and this is like the uh, ex accessory fan, like the high speed for it. That just turns like my ignition on. This. This right here is actually the best part. It turns the two-step on. I'll show you guys a clip of that here. Okay, you're good. got a fucking horn because whatever reason the clock spring on this uh, wheel doesn't work properly or something like that so but once I get everything working good all this wiring is gonna get cleaned up I just have it temporary to make sure everything works make sure the mega squirt or the sorry the micro squirt works and <clears throat> get everything going but uh yeah that's that and I also not this I need some I need some tires too because if you see this has no tread on it so I got some proper winters in the back because it is winter outside and I just need to get some um, studs on there I'm just getting like thread in studs that you can get for BMWs and putting those on the back because I have them on the front already because I was running spacers and civic wheels and those are civic wheels too so gotta get some uh, studs for that but yeah so I've been playing around with the tuning I gotta put my wideband in still but just a little update on the on the E30 and what's happening with it and hopefully, I'll get the wide band done shortly here so I can start tuning this properly and get it running decent. And then turbo time in the spring. And then, yeah, she's going to be pretty sick. I'll squeeze that baby in here and rerun this somewhere. I'm probably going to put the coil like up on the valve cover somewhere or something like that just to get it out of the way. And then windshield washer fluid, I'm going to get like a custom tank just down in the corner here because... It is still useful to have, but yeah, so I also need to intake, make an intake piece. But yeah, that's kind of my update right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and see what's coming with this project.